I'm on. Hi, I'm Doug Davis and I am the editorial cartoonist for the LA Downtown News and we are here at Take My Picture Gary Leonard studio where I am having an opening reception tonight. It's Thursday, March 11th and I'm just thrilled uh, that Gary has asked me to, to show my stuff here and so right behind me we've got it hanging on the wall. A um, number of cartoons that were printed already in the uh, LA Downtown News in the past two years. I'm also featuring tonight some original illustrations that I did, a series that I'm calling Creature Comforts. It's kind of just an excuse to draw monsters, really, um, but it's just kind of a take, uh, hopefully sort of funny, of uh, some creatures who may uh, hang out downtown. You're rolling right now, Doug. You okay. can uh, hold the camera. All right. You'll know what you're aiming at. And let's see that. All right, Blaze. Well, um, we're looking at some cartoons that um, published in the LA Downtown News. I got a spot in there once a week. Pretty happy about that. The uh, up here, well, occasionally, only occasionally do I do something on national politics. I usually try and stick to uh, the local scene, uh, LA, or even downtown specific. I've got an Obama cartoon up there, um, another cartoon next to it on. Uh, Oh, developers and some of their troubles downtown. Got to hit uh, Manny in this cartoon, so I mentioned the Dodgers. Of course, I've got a few on Antonio. Um, Vin Scully over there in the corner. She had an opportunity to do Vin. What is that so, caption on Vin Scully? Oh, aha. well, now that you mention it, I'll tell you. Uh, we've got Vin looking out uh, over the uh, infield, and he says, uh-oh, looks like a bench-clearing brawl has broken out by first base. And he says, oh, never mind. It's just the McCourts. Yuck, yuck. All right. A little McCourt hit there. People may know that they're in the midst of a divorce. Now, let me get your take on the job application. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got some, uh, got some heat off of this one. Um, I've just got an attractive young woman there filling out a job application. Job applying for TV reporter. Where? L.A. City Hall. Why should we hire you? She writes, because I want to promote public discourse essential to democracy, provide information imperative to the informed practice of citizenship, and I'd like to go out with the mayor. Uh, that's in reference to the fact that he's dating uh, a TV newscaster hottie right now, I think. Oh, uh, Philippe's, it's just an institution. And I thought, well, their family's been going there a long time. So I just did a contrast, sort of a little sepia tone take on what it might have been like in 1908 and then again here in 2008. Still families, still eating French dip, still sawdust. It's all good. All right, that's I gotta know about this. this one is Zell as executioner. Zell, the current owner of uh, the LA Times, um, and not really knowing what he's doing, I think, in the newspaper business, uh, cutting staff left and right. There's been a lot of pain at the LA Times these past few years. I think everybody knows about that. And there's my take as Zell as executioner. All right, so what's some new, uh, some new stuff that you Yeah, got? that's over here to the left. Um, is that It is. This is a, this. Uh, series within the show that I call Creature Comforts and I've got uh, you know as I said kind of excuse to draw some monsters doing some stuff sort of downtown Creature Comforts got a werewolf here getting his eyebrows tweezed uh, sort of a spiked back demon about to get a massage here we've got the old Metalunum mutant getting a uh, getting a pedicure. I'm sorry, a manicure. <laughs> how, much, how much for the monsters? <laughs> uh, Frankenstein with his tiny espresso cup. I throw in some mythology with a minotaur. <gasps> Sarah! I'm sorry, I'm doing a video here. Um, we got to do our little vampire reference. Uh, with the, the vampires are hot, aren't they, Sarah? Sure. Pattinson, he's really hot. My you creature from the Black Sarah Lagoon. Beautiful smile. I sure do. This is Sarah Murphy, who's the fiddler in the Murphy Family Band, and we're going to be playing some music real soon, aren't we, Sarah? It's going to be fun. And so, 
that's what we're doing here tonight. And I'm just thrilled to be here. We're looking for a good time. Got a bluegrass band coming uh, as well. Matter of fact, it's a band that I play with. So I made them be here tonight. Um, I'll be playing banjo in a little bit. And we're looking forward to a really good opening here tonight.